Hey, what is up YouTube? I am here filming by myself for this week's day of training. Today we are gonna take on Alex Morgan, US women's soccer player. We're treating this as if it's like off season training. Pretty much for all the athletes that I've been doing, I'm treating it as if, as if it is their off season training because of course I don't have a huge group of people to practice with and train with, with all the things going on with COVID. I'm actually at the, the soccer field. It is completely empty on a Saturday, which is crazy to me but it's because all the soccer programs are canceled here for the summer the only issue with that is yeah the soccer field is empty but on the soccer nets there's no netting so from what i see from some of her workouts that she's posted um that articles have, that have been written is there's a lot of drills she does she does she works with beast mode soccer who does a lot of just dribbling drills texture drills working with the ball agility things like that cone drills so that's pretty easy to do on my own. So I'm gonna be doing that kind of stuff. After that, I'm gonna do a circuit training workout that was made famous by the US women's soccer team. And then after that, I'll do a little bit of strength training to end the day. Got my fancy new soccer cleats. I don't think I can dribble the ball. <laughs> I'm so bad. You know what I think I'd be really good at with soccer? Just a throw-in expert. I can't do throw-ins pretty well. Like. I forgot that with cleats on, you really gotta step up. You can't like have any slide because you have that cleat that can catch. <sighs> All right, so what I'm gonna practice now is I'm gonna set up the cones not too far apart and try to do some figure eights this is like a pretty popular drill one of the most popular when i look on beast mode soccer alex morgan's like individual skill coach instagram account that would be a good starting point Alright, I've added a third cone. I'm gonna just try to dribble within it. Just get a handle of the ball because clearly I have no handle of the ball. So. Okay, so this one I found from Beast Mode Soccer as well. It's like a two, he's a whole series of two cone drills, which is perfect because I only have three cones and <laughs> myself. So it's like a touch, touch, bell, bell. I don't know, you use different parts of your foot and the way it works is like you pass, 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 use the outside of the foot, um, cut across, pass, 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 cut across. So really footwork, getting the feel down with the ball. Um, obviously these are all things that I need to work on and I would assume these individual skills are things that Alex Morgan is working on in the off season when she's not necessarily in a full team practice doing scrimmages and things like that. She's working on her fitness, she's working on her strength and she's working on her skill game and so that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is freaking hard! Ball sports are really freaking hard, especially in skill positions. Oh, it's really hot out here. All right, I gotta nail this. I need to look at the workout and see what it is. What I think I need to think is like outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, 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 in
I want to do some shooting. Of course I kick the ball right where the two fences have a hole in them. This is poisonous grass that I have to get into. I'm recording this video so when I go to the doctors I can show them exactly what poisoned me. Poison. I'm going to have rashes everywhere. So now that my skin feels like it's on fire and I'm probably going to be very itchy for a week, might as well just start that circuit training workout. Okay, so circuit training workout, US Women's Team. Let me get my phone so I remember it. So the circuit training workout starts with a one mile run, so which is 400 meters by four, so four laps of this soccer field. Uh, then it goes into 30 seconds each of push-up, 180 jump squats, med ball slams, alternating jump lunges, planks, and speed skaters. That should be really fun, actually. Um, the only thing is I don't have a med ball, so I will do soccer ball slams. Why not? Oh yeah, then you rest four minutes, and then you repeat the whole circuit through four times. Nothing like some carbs based purely off sugar. Mosquito City. circuit training workout. Okay. We're gonna do like a few strength. I'm getting super tired, but I'm gonna finish things off with some strength training that I've seen from a video of Alex Morgan doing some strength training work in the gym. Um, she has like a few different conditioning and strength workouts. A few different conditioning and strength exercises in that workout that I'm going to go through. Um, I have a dumbbell out here. I have a mat for some core. I'm gonna start off with these quick feet. And it is so much harder than it looks. I just try to set and uh, I feel like I'm moving like a bulldozer, but I'm gonna try to, to speed things up and see how fast we can get through. All right, so this next one, you guys have probably seen me do in almost every athlete's strength training portion in the gym. The reason being, even if soccer players don't necessarily need, a super strong upper body. This is just an important movement to balance out a lot of things in your body. You should be doing a lot of push-ups. Doing things like rows and pulling is so important for posture and just for general health of your joints, of, of your, your body in general. So that's why I think this movement is incorporated in most athletes training programs. So another movement that I've seen Alex Morgan do in the gym is kettlebell snatches. Um, I don't have a kettlebell, so I'm just gonna use dumbbells. that's it it's official done the day of training let's go check out my whoop and check my day strain so far so so far we're at about a 14 day strain it hasn't calculated the end of that strength training yet so I would say you know it's 2 2 30 p.m. still going to do some stretching some cool down stuff my guess is this is about a 
16 day strain by the end of the day, which is a really, really quality day strain. Um, really great day of training. This has been about even with all the other days of training, including like football training and stuff like that. For soccer, definitely you need to be very well conditioned, but also so much skill work. And I think those go hand in hand because to be able to do that amount of skill work and not fatigue and still be mentally and physically there to repeat those skill work for hours and hours, you need to have really great endurance and be well conditioned. And then to make it through a game with all the running that they do during the game and through their practices and their season, that's just crazy so respect to soccer players you have to be so well conditioned and so skillful to play the game thank you guys again for tuning in please 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 hit me with a like and subscribe and if you can leave me a comment I will reply to all of them and I always look forward to getting some comments to reply to so drop me a comment